Hello everyone, my name is Kartik and you are watching my YouTube channel. So this is uh, another series of uh, clean architecture. So we'll create in this session, we'll create architecture and the project architecture. So we'll see the demo as well as like uh, create a architecture only. The next session in this series, you know, there is a could be a many session to create, you know, one by one, like the all the layers because there is a three to four layers so we'll create architecture here and then implementation uh, will create one by one so let's get started to demo so see there's i already you we have created api with using you know clean architecture so i implement you know one endpoint like get endpoint post endpoint everything so let's check it okay so it is same whatever we done so like see all data coming from that our uh, in the database okay it's a sql light entity framework we are using over here so let's see the architecture so here the i i created actually like this ui interface and uh, and like uh, see that like that image okay so that uh, the ui interface as well as like you know in our domain layer and then application layer and in infrastructure layer okay so these are layer actually for the basic basic clean architecture example for this actually so there is an advanced also there is an advanced uh, level that we can use you know cqrs pattern and then uh, with this mediator r you know that domain driven approach actually so that will create in a next series but this series actually for understanding for initial level so that you can understand very well okay how we can create a clean architecture okay also in in this uh, the last also we'll create a docker image how we can you know create the docker container for this you know uh, for this architecture as well and how we can create a container and then deploy without writing any code and stuff so that is also a great feature come in visual studio that also end of the session will will show you in this series okay so let's move start okay to create this architecture and the stop this one okay and move it to here and open the visual studio so before visual studio open the studio for the scratch actually we'll create one by one everything so in this session only we'll create architecture so that uh, video should not long so, so remove this one. So create next for first. Actually, we'll we'll create here UI. Okay. So also there is a solution. So we can create a solution as well. Solution. There is no solution. So let's leave it that part. Also just create a anything I guess. Then we can remove it. Okay, so what we can do use that dot net core web api okay use that because we are using interface so i was thinking core api just you can find over here also you can just choose whatever your recent project okay, and also just because i have because i many time i created that's why the recent project would be core api using over here next now change it to like uh, Clean, clean a texture clean architecture okay the uh, to me think that name clean architecture that full name texture and what i was thinking you know some specific name because already i created so might be not conflict so yeah you'll get an architecture that's fine and dot this is api you interface so that's api and then we can create a I mean, we can remove that api because our solution name only that clean architecture okay there's a many layers so that's why solution name is a clean architecture but layer is like clean architecture api clean architecture domain clean architecture dot infrastructure clean architecture other so let's create okay this is dot net 7 and use the controller base approach okay i already 
showing that video how we can create our API so you can check out and see now this is our API user interface so as of now just we can remove it well or we can keep it okay because it is a our final layer user interface so let's we'll discuss about that when we implement so when we'll discuss over it so before that actually so what is that clean architecture so that we have to know actually so that little bit understand what is that clean architecture okay so then we will can proceed like we will create that architecture as well okay so clean architecture is a software design pattern that aims to create a mo modular and maintainable code base by separation concern and dependencies it's promote the separation of the concern through multiple layers and enforce boundaries between them in this response i will provide an overview of clean architecture okay and uh, so these are the about the clean architecture okay so let's talk about little bit of the principle so so if i remove this okay and okay so let's understand like what are the principles okay so there is a many principle actually so there's a four to five principles for this clean architecture so let's uh, talk about first one like separation of the concern okay so the code base is divided into distinct layer each with it is own responsibility and concern okay the second uh, principle is dependency rules so dependencies flow inward meanings outer layer to do not depend in inner layer okay so whatever you saw ever image right so these are two type of layer like inner layer and outer layer so that is not dependent actually so these allows for easy a replacement or modification of the component so very easy to you know replace the component and the third one is abstraction on over the implementation so interface and abstraction are used to define contracts and decoupling high level modules for the low level details okay this is another uh, uh, good uh, principle and now other one is a testability so in this layer actually in this architecture the unit testing by enabling isolated testing or components at different level okay so now fifth or final one is a uh, you know the dependency of framework so the core business logic is not dependent on on any specific framework or library so making it more portable and maintainable so that will uh, when implement so let's that time will understand definitely so these are the and our principles okay so let's uh, do that okay so now start okay before we start let's see that image okay so that that clean architecture is you know that uh, onion view okay so this is onion view and you can see there's a main is a you know common centric you know uh, domain centric uh, design it is a uh, like, like in a main you know center is a domain and then applications and then inner layer inner layer is a user interface and then out uh, that outer layer is a user interface and then uh, persistence layer and in, in stress texture layer okay so these are actually uh, the clean architecture is work like this way okay so let's move start to create a project okay so already ui interface is created so now move it to okay, now create is a you know domain uh, domain layer so let's create a new project okay so choose any class library class library choose dotnet or dotnet standard both so next and this is copy dot it is a domain layer so first would be our your domain layer next next okay so remove that so once i implement then i'll explain also like what is that domain layer okay so now i just creating this session only just you know creating the architecture that's it the next session will implement one by one like first i implement a domain layer then other layer then other layer okay so let's create another one uh, that is called actually uh, infrastructure layer so 
me bring that okay let me choose class library again next uh, then copy dot so structure layer okay so just put the name infrastructure layer next next okay so these also done okay remove that extra default template infrastructure then finally our layer which is interact our ui that is application layer so just create another uh can call is the application layer so just call class library then copy dot application right applications okay so this is application layer okay now create and lit okay so this is actually our final architecture okay uh, this is ui interface as uh, we saw in our you know that a uh, onion view so this is application layer this is domain layer and this is infrastructure so so those are will go to great great details in next session like uh, you know how what are the dependency you know which layer and the dependent to another layer okay and then finally we'll achieve implement in a user interface once it's completed also we implement you know many stuff so uh thank you for watching uh this series on a clean architecture uh we'll meet the next session with this you know implementation of that domain layer okay thank you have you have a nice day and don't please don't forget to subscribe